Hey y'all, my name is Coach K and I am the owner of Level 27 Life Coaching and Advising. I'm the coach that you call when you need help realizing your potential and capitalizing on your opportunities. I coach traditional students, student athletes, and young adults on how to embrace their individuality and live unapologetically in their purpose. Through faith-based programs, I teach my clients how to manage their mindset and not their circumstance. You are currently watching a series that I like to call SoPro. I'm teaching you how the shoemaking process gives us life skills that we can implement in our lives every day. Throughout this series, I'm teaching you how to use the shoe production process to enhance your mindset. Last week, we talked about the design phase, which taught us that we have to remember that God is our designer, Jesus is our foundation, and we must learn to follow his patterns. And the ultimate goal is to become a sample product of his love. This step taught us to always return to the original design and creator when we lose sight of the original vision. All right, so this week, we're gonna be talking about step two of the shoemaking process, so y'all stay tuned. Have you ever had a moment in your life where you felt like you were just in a losing season? Like you were just taking so many L's that you just felt like if I take one more L, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to react if I take another L. And I think we've all, I think we all can agree that we've been in that place before where we felt like we were getting slighted or we just got snubbed of a life that we thought that we would have. And I want to be very clear with you about life. It's clear that life can be beautiful. It can be amazing. But on the flip side of that, it can definitely be brutal. There are so many things that happen that we're shielded from at times. And then there's some things that we kind of invite into our atmosphere. But all in all, it's clear that we're going to fail at some point. It's inevitable that we will fail at some point. And I, I really dislike the way that the world has painted the image of failure. To me, I feel like failing is the best remedy to keep you in the right mindset and to humble yourself, <laughs> to be honest. I do believe that failure is necessary in order to be able to get the mindset and to build the grit that you need to be on the level that some of us believe that we want to be on. I do believe that when we're in those dark moments, that's when we're, we feel the most lost, we feel the most alone, we feel like no one understands us, and we don't feel like communicating because we don't feel like we have anything to add to the conversation or we don't feel like we want to even put ourselves in the spotlight because we're not where we want to be. But that is the wrong approach to it. In, in dark times and in dark moments, you may feel hopeless and alone, but I want you to be encouraged and I want you to know that there is always a point where you'll, you're gonna have to experience seclusion or solitude. But it's the way that you utilize your time in that space that will help you emerge <laughs> greater than you were before. Um, it's a choice to stay in that space. So I just want you to know that, yeah, although it's inevitable that you will feel at some point, you will feel lost at some point, you will feel, um, you know, like you're not 100% at some points, but you don't have to stay in the valley. Just like you got to the mountaintop, you can get back up there at some point. So I know that it's hard for some of you to figure out how to navigate these times, but I truly believe that step two of the shoemaking process can give you some steps or give you some skills to help you um, change your perspective. All right, so y'all stay tuned. The second step of the shoemaking process is the mold and inspection process. The manufacturer creates a 3D mold of the shoe design and then uses it to make a metal mold. Creating the metal mold is very time consuming. It takes up to almost 10 hours to create one size shoe. Once it's complete, the shoe mold is inspected and measured to make sure that it is functioning correctly. After everything is inspected and secure, the material is injected into the mold and put under pressure to create the base for the shoe. This process demonstrates that being under pressure is not always a bad thing and routine inspections are necessary. In the moment, we don't realize that everything we go through in life is meant to shape and mold us. Uh, over time, our mold gets injected with different types of material. Sometimes the material comes in the form of negativity, self-doubt, depression, and hard times. Other times the materials come in the form of self-love, 
of self-awareness and good times. As a result, our base is a mashup of our negative and positive experiences. God allows us to go through trials and tribulations to build our endurance and strengthen our faith. Oftentimes we forget that God created us to handle this level of pressure. He created us to be resilient and created us to do things way beyond what we can mentally fathom. God walks with us and uses our good and bad encounters for our good. It's hard to gain a different perspective about life when you're in the middle of the storm. That's why it's important to conduct self checks and inspections along the way. If the metal mold isn't carefully inspected, it won't fit the original design. This same rule applies to you. The inspection is implemented to make sure everything is aligned and working properly. It gives you an opportunity to adjust and seek out the support that you need. I believe that the mold and inspection phase of the shoe making process has given us four steps that we can use to implement in our daily lives. Step one of this process is making sure that you accept and acknowledge that everything you've been through was meant to build your endurance and teach you how to become the person that you're meant to become. Honestly, everything that we go through, it, it has a purpose. Even if it's negative, even if it's positive, everything that we go through has a lesson attached to it. And we have to acknowledge and accept the fact that every part of the journey is vital. And whether you like the outcome of that part of your journey or not, it has definitely given you a tool to add to your tool belt to help you along your journey. So that's number one, accepting and acknowledging the fact that our journey is important and every part of it is vital. Step two, you must conduct self checks and inspections. They are necessary. You need to do this on a regular. Don't wait till the check engine light comes on to check on yourself. Make sure that you are checking in and inspecting your feelings and like allowing yourself to feel and understanding why those feelings are happening because if you let stuff build up, it's just like building up, filling up the cups. And once you run out of cups or run out of vessels to fill, you're gonna crash. So it's important that you do self checks and make sure that your motives and intentions are pure and that you're operating at the optimal level. Step three, you must take accountability and surround yourself with like-minded individuals that are gonna hold you to your word and that are gonna make sure you're accountable for the things that you're supposed to do. The people that you have in your life, <laughs> like, I can't even really stress this enough, the people you have around you have impacted you in a major way. You may not notice it yet, you may not see how you've changed yet, but if you stick around negative people long enough, you'll become negative too. If you stick around positive people long enough, you'll become positive too. The people and the things that you allow in your atmosphere really do impact you. So you have to be careful who you have in your area. You also want to put people in your space that are going to hold you accountable. So like some good examples of this would be having a therapist to help you work through issues that you're feeling, having a counselor, having a good friend that you know you can like unpack things with and like be completely vulnerable having a support group that helps you with it, with any issues that you may have that can help push you and rally you to the end you know what i'm saying like you need supportive people around you because sometimes you may be in a space where one wrong word one wrong direction one wrong piece of advice can cause you to forfeit everything so you want to make sure the people that you have in your life are truly there for the right reasons and that they actually have your best interest at heart because we ain't got time for, for people to just be riding on coattails and stuff. Cut them off, it's time to go. <laughs> All right. All right, and the fourth and final step is to, is to use your experiences and tell your story. Honestly, Everything you've been through was meant to groom you. So it's important that you tell your testimony and that you really do share 
your triumphs and your failures and things like that because somebody out there needs to know that it's possible to be a comeback kid or it's possible to overcome uh, trials or it's possible to feel like you were at your worst and then reemerge as someone who is so self-assured and they need to know that there were failures and pitfalls in that in that transition because for some reason people think that people are perfect out here and that perfection doesn't exist not in the world and I think when you start looking at yourself and you find the beauty in your imperfections and you find the the light at the end of the tunnel or the silver lining of that bad time that was in your life it changes the way that you perceive failure and it also teaches you that Although I was there at one point, I didn't stay there because I chose to rise again. I've created a worksheet for you to help you work through these four steps. So if you'd like to download it, visit www.level27coaching.com and make sure that you click on the blog post entitled Mold and Inspection. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow us on our social media at Level 27 Coaching. This is step two of the SoPro six week series. I'll see y'all next week where we'll, be, where we'll be talking about step three of the shoe making process. Until next time, stay focused, keep grinding, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. All right, y'all, be blessed. Have a great week. I love y'all. Talk to you later. See you next Thursday.